In today's video, I wanted to do more home internet speed testing on T-Mobile. As I've said, I wanted to do these more frequently since the uh, Super Bowl ad aired in February. They've gotten a much higher volume of customers signing up for the product. And we'll see, we'll see that reflect on the uh, Q1 earnings April 27th. They are going to report those numbers and they're going to be big. And they're going to be big in Q2, Q3, and Q4. So I wanted to do more testing. So from what I can say anecdotally, I overall haven't noticed a drop in speed to where I can sit there and say, okay, the speeds have dropped 30%. Now, hear me out. I know I've, I've shown you guys a drop in speed during peaks, peak times. But I consider that drop to be because of wireless, because home internet does take a back seat during peak times over wireless. So as the wireless traffic moves through, it does dip in, in, in speeds. But shortly after the, the peak hours, speeds are back to normal, which is anywhere, as you can see, 170 to 200 and then in the early hours early mornings it's it's 200 plus 250 260 270 so i can't sit here and say that hey my speeds have decreased 50 percent over the last year it's 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 kind of been normal the speeds have been normal other than during the peak but even during peak as you've seen it can drop you know to 80 90 megabits a second but it does pick back up shortly after. So I, I, I noticed the dip. And even sometimes as the dip occurs, it the speeds pick back up within the same speed test. So I really overall haven't noticed any huge difference in terms of user experience. My stuff is still streaming. I'm actually streaming again 1080p 60 frames a second content in the background while running the speed testing. Also, I do now have, as of yesterday, I have the newest update. I think it's 0286. Um, feels very stable. It's getting, it seems to be getting better. So they're, they're uh, looking to tweak the software and making this product as stable as they can. So that lets me know that they're trying to give the customer experience the best that they can to limit the churn and, and, and keep the people on board. As you can see, I just hit 200 uh, down, 43 up. Again, this is about three to four times faster than, than the previous provider that I had. And as you can see, ping time, 11 milliseconds, jitter five. I mean, it's it's been a great experience. And I think for many, for the casual, even to, to somewhat the more power user, this is going to be fine. I've seen people send me messages saying they're using two to three terabytes a month, no problem on this product. Some people have two to three TVs in their households. They've told me there's no problem. Now, like I said in, in, in another video, 8K competitive gaming, uh, I don't know, maybe not, right? There's no port forwarding. There's no open that type. But other than that, it, it's, it's been a pleasant experience for me. It's been very pleasant. Um, I know I've, I've read some of you guys' comments that it hasn't been that great for you. And that's, that's going to be the case. And that is the case with all products. Anything can break. Anything can be bad. I mean... I've seen people tell me Verizon is bad. I've seen people tell me AT&T is bad and in some cases. So that's that can be the case with, with all products. But overall for me, like I said, I can't really sit here and say that the speeds have decreased over the last 12 months. I do notice the drops during peak because wireless does take priority. But again, as you see now, it's about noon on a Saturday and... I'm streaming, handling all my my emails and, and, and such, and no problem whatsoever for now. Now I'm gonna, I'm going to continue uh, 
testing throughout the year. This is I just hit my one year anniversary, so I'm going into year two. And then we're going to kind of compare the longevity of the product. Will it work in year two? Will it work with more traffic? Can you use this to move to another location? So there's going to definitely be more in-depth testing from me. So as you can see, again, over 200. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more updates. Um, there's, there's lots more coming um, during the week. There's, I'm already tracking a new T-Mobile launching a new plan, a postpaid cheaper option uh, and essentials. So I'm tracking with the, the source for official documentation. So the article should be coming out hopefully soon once that official documentation is back. And then we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video or in a, in a, in a, short, in a future video. Should be, if it's not today, probably probably Monday. It'll probably be Monday. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.